Yeah, that's kind of sketch. Yeah, that's sketch. This is a tool review. We'll get to the tool in a minute. As you saw from that picture, I had set up a jig, which basically was my, one of my magnetic feather boards to cut some eighth inch thick strips for a customer. Now, I'm doing a plywood project for her and she wanted solid wood, not iron on. Not a problem, I can do that. So what I did is I drew a line from the blade down to the bottom of the insert here where I knew where the blade edge was. I needed to get to steel for the magnets to work, clamped this down and then read the, ran the wood through. Um, it's a bit sketch, but it works. So I decided, you know, I, I, I know I'm going to be doing this in the future, and I decided to get something to fix that. And what I got was a thin strip cutting jig off of Amazon. This is from Peachtree, uh, not affiliated, not a sponsor. And you notice it's not red, because the red company, the stuff that sells the red stuff, sells exactly the same tool. And when you look closely at the photographs of the two side by side, the extrusions are exactly the same. There's no difference. The only difference between this one and the red one, well, there's two differences. One is the, the demarcations or markings on here for this little ruler thing is uh, stuck on with, um, a, uh, with a um, peel and stick ruler, custom made for this, of course. And the red one, those numbers and demarcations are etched into the aluminum, and then it's anodized red. This is anodized clear. Let me say a little bit about some of the comments on Amazon about this. There were people who were complaining that it didn't work on their table saws, and the table saws they mention have three-quarter inch miter slots. I have three-quarter inch miter slots, and it works perfect. So let, let's take a closer look at how this thing actually works. The way this works is <clears throat> actually really simple. So I've marked the stock where I want to make the cut. So I'm going to set the fence where that cut is to be. There, that just divides the pen pencil line. Now, four or five inches, maybe six inches back, depending on your piece of wood, I'm going to slide over the roller guide, tighten that down just a little bit. Now, this can actually move back and forth, but it's still maintaining that exact distance. So right about, one, right about here, because it's a shorter piece of wood, tighten this down, and now I'm ready to roll. It's got, it's holding it tight against the fence. The roller, ball, the roller bearing is moving, so I know that I'm up against the roller bearing. So now, let's do a cut. So there I did two successive cuts. They're exactly, as far as I can tell, the exact same thickness of what I was looking for when I, when I marked my piece of stock here. Now there is another way you can do this if you want to complicate it a little bit, is you take a scale and measure the distance here between the tooth and the wheel and then tighten it down a little bit to lock this in place, then move it back, tighten it up, and you get the same result. I prefer to use the method where I bring the work piece over to where I want the strip to cut to a mark and then bring over the jig, snug that down, still moves, now tighten it and now it's nice up against the fence and I can make another cut. So that's basically how it works. Very simple, very nice, very elegant. Keep the coffee cup off your table saw. I have stories. Anyhow, that's it. Um, so, why did I buy this one from Peachtree instead of the red one? This is half the price. And it's virtually identical, except for the scale. It's virtually identical. Extrusions are the same, real bearing, all that. And once again, to set it where you want it, you just give this knob a partial tightening. Now this won't move, and then when you put it back to where your stock's going to ride up against it, you tighten it the rest of the way, and it's fixed. It's not going to move. So now it's fixed in place, it's not going to move, and it's going to give you those thin strips like I demonstrated. 
So, it's a keeper. So until next time, make great things out of wood and maybe make some thin strips. <laughs>